for me, smart building is very much about efficiency in the building. Energy consumption in, in the building. So that is about, I mean, lighting to making sure that we have lights when it's only when it's needed. About controlling the HVAC equipment, heating, ventilation and, and um, air conditioning. Uh, it's about the elevators, I mean, that, that they are as most efficient as possible. And all yeah. this is about saving energy. Mm -hmm. I also read some studies that, uh, I mean, by having the right lighting, for instance, you mm -hmm. can really, I mean, improve efficiency of the people because then they may become more alert and, and, and uh, you're reducing the um, uh, number of sick days and so on. So mm -hmm. it's really about, I mean, optimizing conditions so you have a perfect environment for the people. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Um, try and talk about um, um, outcomes, not output. Mm -hmm. So I think one of, one of the issues with the construction industry, the building industry, whatever you want to call it, is that, the, you know, previously it's been focused on more output, producing more buildings. But, but really what we should be doing is focusing on, on what it is that the, the building actually is supposed to achieve. From my perspective, there is, as well, a difference, of course, between types of commercial buildings and what they are, mm -hmm. what they are supposed mm -hmm. to do, mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. what, their, what their output should be. Um, and we mentioned for productivity, I think mm -hmm. that's important mm -hmm. in offices, yep. Yep. but equally in hospitals, um, it should be about patient outcomes. In education, it should be, you know, about trying to provide a better education, and even in, for example. Um, prisons. It should be about helping to reduce reoffending rates. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are the mm -hmm. these are the kind of things that the, the buildings should be able to to contribute to. Yeah, yeah. Now I think also about this smart building. It's it's about understanding what's going on in the in the building. You're talking about hospitals, and, and I think an uh, important thing there is to be able to keep track of of the different devices mm -hmm. and, and and be able to locate them mm -hmm. and. and uh, and that is important, but also to, to um, uh, I mean, s s see how patients flow through the, the, um, the hospital and really optimize that in, in a better way. Yeah. And there, of course, I mean, sensor can plays a good uh, or important role in, in smart buildings. Yeah, tracking assets, tracking people, making sure that we're being uh, as uh, efficient as possible with those resources. Yeah. Because, of course, yeah. you know, ultimately, someone has to pay for all of this. And, mm. and, uh, in hospitals, it's more like most likely to be the taxpayer. So yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then, of course, in office building, that they're really utilizing the building as, as much as possible and making mm -hmm. sure that, uh, or that you don't have empty rooms and, and uh, empty conference rooms, mm -hmm. and so that you're utilizing as, as optimum as, as, as possible. Mm. Yeah, and also for, for retail to understand how consumers are moving around in, 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 yeah. in, the, in the stores and, and uh, get the heat map. <laughs> So I read a report from ABI Research that uh, the ratio of, of wireless equipment in, in smart building will rise up to 35% in 2022. So we see the, the upwards trend yeah. of wireless. We also believe that uh, I mean, smart building is very much about collecting sensors data from, from a large, uh, large sensor network and, and uh, aggregate sensor data up to, to cloud service. Mm -hmm. And for these type of uh, applications, uh, mesh networks are important that you connect node to, to node. Uh, and there, Bluetooth just uh, one half year ago and announced their Bluetooth mesh that we believe very much in, in and uh, invest a lot. And then also, I mean, when you're connecting the sensor, you need the gateway that I mean, aggregate the data from, from the sensors and, and uh, send it through a cellular connection, for instance, and up to, to uh, the cloud service. Using the cloud to then be able to process that data, mm. display it intelligently, yep. at least you know, give the people that are making Which decisions, like mm. facilities managers, giving them the tools that they need to, to make, um, um, you know, to optimize what, what, what they're trying to do, whether it be you know, save energy or increase productivity, some of the things that we talked about before. So yeah, it, it's, it, it is this exciting time, I think, for the business in, in the sense that, you know, we, we, I feel that there is an increase in uh, digitization and, yeah. and, 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 and definitely a proliferation of, of sensors as they become a little bit cheaper. And of course, as, as our, the way that we can connect them either wirelessly or, or, or wired, they're, they're, that's getting better as well. I see it as technology is the, um, is the tool, right, for achieving what, yeah. what we want to do. It, it, it's not. It's um. It's a means to an end, not the end unto itself.
you know, I think from the manufacturer perspective, I'd like to see products with security baked in to them. So that, that actually being, you know, something that is considered at the design phase through to, you know, good education for systems integrators. That's important as well. They need to be installing systems that um, focus on security and do so in, a, in the correct way. So, um, from your perspective, we look into this. I mean, we are involved in, in, in the modules and, and, and for, for um, short range radio and, and um, cellular and, and positioning technology mm. and, um, and the actual component. And we look upon that in, in what we call five principles of security. We need to have control of the, or the building automation uh, only need to have control of the complete uh, system end to end. No, it's great. I think you've what you guys are doing with um, with securing the hardware there that is is fantastic. We need more of that. Um, yeah, and I think I think from from the building perspective, as you said, um, it's that combined with you know education, yeah. educating the right yeah. people, and yeah. also you know a real understanding of, no. No, of what they're doing. It can't be an afterthought anymore. Security needs to be at the forefront of everyone's mind. I think.